could one of the most popular anti-aging solutions actually be completely useless? For years, studies linked the antioxidant resveratrol to a wide variety of benefits to cardiovascular, cognitive, and skin health. News of these findings quickly made resveratrol one of the most talked about ways to fight aging. But could resveratrol's amazing anti-aging potential be one big myth? For years, evidence of resveratrol's benefits seemed to grow every day. But a recent wave of news articles claimed that this molecule's anti-aging properties have been debunked. These sudden skeptics point to their own scientific evidence, which suggests that resveratrol isn't just overhyped. It's completely worthless. This has left many wondering, is resveratrol a secret weapon in the fight against aging, or just a waste of money? Well, in this video, I'll review the latest cutting-edge research. I'll discuss why many consider resveratrol one of the greatest anti-aging solutions to date, why others believe it's a myth, and reveal the surprising answer to this continuous debate. What is resveratrol? Resveratrol is a potent antioxidant found in red wine, berries, nuts, and chocolate. As an antioxidant, it's been thought to have a wide variety of anti-aging properties. In particular, many believe that resveratrol will store skin's youthfulness by fighting wrinkles, increasing thickness, and promoting hydration. This antioxidant is also thought to fight high cholesterol, cardiovascular disease, along with memory loss. So it's no wonder why many tout resveratrol as one of the best anti-aging solutions available. On the other hand, others argue that resveratrol's benefits are overhyped and it's not enough to stand up to aging. This topic has been debated for years, but thanks to a wave of new evidence, we may have found the answer. And that's why today, we're going to look through these studies and decide once and for all whether resveratrol is the anti-aging powerhouse it's cracked up to be. First off, let's look at the evidence in support of resveratrol. Before we get deep into the evidence, let's first discuss where resveratrol gets its supposed anti-aging effects. Most supporters of resveratrol point to its anti-inflammatory properties. Inflammation happens when toxins, stress, poor sleep, or certain lifestyle factors put stress on your cells. We know that long-term inflammation plays a big role in many of the problems we associate with aging, including cardiovascular disease, cognitive decline, bowel problems, and arthritis. And a wide array of studies have found that resveratrol quickly lowers inflammation throughout the body, even in low doses. That should mean that resveratrol does in fact have strong anti-aging properties as well. But do any studies confirm that resveratrol provides real results? Let's look at cardiovascular benefits first. Studies have found that resveratrol's anti-inflammatory properties fight high blood pressure, blood sugar, and diabetes. In one trial, supplementing with resveratrol reduced arterial stiffness, a major risk factor for poor circulation and heart disease. It also resulted in weight loss. Other studies link resveratrol with improvements in metabolism, which leads to greater energy and fat burning. So the evidence for cardiovascular benefits seems strong. But what about cognitive health? In one landmark study, 80 women took resveratrol. Overall, they saw significant improvements in memory, focus, and quick thinking. Several noted that their mood improved as well. Other trials have found similar results, making a very strong case for resveratrol's ability to fight memory loss. Amazingly, in another study, resveratrol was even linked to improvements in the brain itself, specifically in areas related to new memory and new brain cell creation. This would mean that resveratrol can not only fight cognitive decline, but even help your brain grow stronger. What's more, resveratrol has been even shown to help fight chronic conditions like Alzheimer's disease. Overall, resveratrol delivers real cognitive benefits in hundreds of studies. Let's round out the case for resveratrol by looking at some of the other documented benefits. Several studies demonstrate that resveratrol protects your skin from UV damage, which is a major cause of aging, wrinkles, and disease. This antioxidant was also found to decrease a wide variety of digestive issues, including IBS, diarrhea, constipation, and abdominal pain. Finally, resveratrol has also been found to protect several organs, including your liver, from aging. It's clear that resveratrol's anti-aging benefits are backed up by a wide array of clinical studies. Yet in spite of all this evidence, many still claim that resveratrol isn't as powerful as it's made out to be. Could they be right? Let's take a look at what the studies say. We've seen plenty of studies where resveratrol leads to noticeable anti-aging benefits. But in other studies, resveratrol doesn't produce these effects. In fact, it seems to do nothing at all. One of the biggest cases against resveratrol comes from a study that measured older folks living in one of Italy's biggest wine-producing regions. Their diet was rich in red wine, grapes, and nuts, 
so they were consuming plenty of resveratrol. So you'd expect their levels of inflammation, cardiovascular disease, and chronic conditions to be lower. But surprisingly, their levels were average. For those participants, increasing resveratrol led to no anti-aging benefits at all. If you've heard the claim that resveratrol's benefits are a myth, it's probably because of this study. When these results were released, it became a media sensation with many sources declaring the antioxidant debunked. But it begs the question, if resveratrol leads to results in so many studies, why didn't it this time? To understand, let's talk about a concept called bioavailability. The bioavailability of a nutrient refers to how easy it is for our bodies to absorb. If we eat a more bioavailable nutrient, our bodies can put more of it to use leading to more benefits. On the other hand, we'll get less benefit from a less bioavailable nutrient. And studies find that resveratrol isn't very bioavailable. That's a problem if you're trying to get the anti-aging benefits from resveratrol sources like grapes and wines. One glass of wine or a handful of grapes already isn't going to give you very much resveratrol. When you factor in its poor bioavailability, it's unlikely that you'll get any benefits at all. But wait a minute. What about all those studies where resveratrol gave participants better cognitive? cardiovascular, and digestive health. Well, between the studies where resveratrol worked and the ones where it didn't, there's one key difference, the type of resveratrol the participants took. See, in the study against resveratrol, participants were drinking red wine and eating grapes. So for the reasons we discussed, they might not have actually been getting much of this antioxidant at all. But in the studies where it worked, participants took resveratrol supplements with high doses, which helped counteract its poor bioavailability. And in that difference, we can finally answer today's question. Resveratrol from wine and grapes may indeed be a myth, but resveratrol from supplements have wide-ranging scientific support. You may be wondering how you can get resveratrol's amazing anti-aging benefits for yourself. The bad news is that drinking lots of red wine will not bring you youthful health and energy. Fortunately, though, there are plenty of resveratrol supplements you can find online. Since supplements are made from extracts, they'll give you plenty of resveratrol, enough to compensate for its low bioavailability. If you enjoyed today's video revealing the truth about resveratrol, please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel where I'll be discussing new, exciting health topics. I'm Dr. Anil Bajnath, wishing you the very best on your journey to becoming a more youthful you.